hello so today we're gonna do a weird kind of vlog um i just got out of the shower as you can tell um <laughs> and i'm gonna do like a not get ready with me but like a morning routine for when i'm filming because that's totally different than when i'm like writing or going someplace um so i just got out of the shower so i already had some breakfast um and i just got out of the shower um <laughs> sometimes i don't shower in the morning i'm usually a night shower person but last night I was having weird dreams, so I was sweating. So I thought, let's start off clean. Um, so we're gonna get ready. And uh, yeah, I don't know if you're gonna like this video, but we will see. <laughs> okay, so when I'm getting ready for filming, um, the most important aspect, as always, is skincare. Um, there's always stuff behind me and going on in my room when I'm filming. There's like stuff everywhere that I clean up later. Um, but so the first step, other than washing my face in the bathroom, is the um green tea toner that i use there's a little bit left i already have a new one i love this so much i feel like it's really helped balance my skin um i do have dry skin but oily t-zone and i don't have an oily t-zone with this um i do still have a bit of dryness but i think if you have oily skin you'd love this toner and it's only 20 bucks or something it's lasted awesome. me a long time as well then we're gonna go in with my paula's choice two percent bha lotion um, I've been using the lotion just because my drier skin um, rather than the just like liquid one um, They both work pretty equivalently to me, but this one kind of gives your skin more of like a, a smoothness And I usually take all these down my neck somewhat because I do end up getting like acne like around this area sometimes Probably from hair products. And I like that absorb a little sometimes I use my little fan and then I'm gonna use this which is Versed Auto Save Advanced Restoring Serum. Honestly, I'm not too impressed with this. I researched like for a day serum and I like the smell of it and I like the texture of it, but I don't, I haven't seen any results and I've been using it for like, I wanna say two months, maybe like six weeks, but like I just haven't noticed anything. Um, and this one says before you go in with anything else that you should let it sit for a minute on the skin. Um, I guess to let it like absorb. And so before I go in with all of my other stuff, I clean my earrings, even though it's been longer than they said, like I don't have to do it anymore. They still kind of hurt a little, so I spray them with this uh, piercing aftercare stuff. I got stuff from Claire's to use it, but I felt like it was drying my area out, like my ear area, like it was making me peel and flake. So either I was allergic to it or it's like too drying. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. Um, if you didn't know, if you missed that video, I got a third hole. And then I use this, which is my favorite from Face Theory. I did a video trying a couple of their products. Um, the Lum Lumazela A10 Serum. It's a azelaic acid serum with aloe, colloidal oat, and green tea. Any skincare with green tea in it is uh, usually works pretty well for me. I also keep getting these fun little cracks on the side of my mouth, so that's that's always great. Um, I must be drooling in my sleep. I'm gonna use some lip balm. This is just Sephora hydrating lip balm. Um, it doesn't have any kind of thing I'm allergic to. It's pretty basic, but yeah. Um, and then last but not least is, well actually no, I have eye cream, which is the Algenis Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I think I got this in a FabFit Fun box. I, seem, I like it, it's definitely hydrating. It doesn't do much for the darkness under my eyes though. Okay, and then we have moisturizer and SPF in one, the Paula's Choice Essential Glow, which I've been using for years, years, years now. Okay. Eyelids. Put it down. Make sure it's all nice and in there. My hands, even though I'm gonna wash them. Okay, so now I'm going to do moisturizer. I've been mixing it up on the body. Um, this one I like a lot. I got this for free from Influencer. It's the Cetaphil Rough and Bumpy Daily Daily Smoothing Moisturizer. I like it. Um, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna get dressed and plop my hair up because it's obviously wet. And then um, we're gonna go try some iced coffee, which I'm very excited about. <music> Okay, so 
you guys know I've used Javi before. I worked with them on a coffee concentrate, um, which is what this is, and I loved it. Um, but now I have new flavors. I have like a pumpkin spice and stuff. I picked the vanilla just because that's my jam. Um, but we're gonna try it today. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm very excited about this. I already did have some hot coffee today, but it's gonna be a long day. So I thought I would have some of this. I'm not gonna have a big, big cup, so I'm really just gonna use um like one teaspoon and some water and uh, some ice so uh, let's do it <laughs> A little bit of a vanilla smell but nothing too intense Ugh, i'm dropping my phone okay cheers Ooh, i really enjoy that that's good i like that better than the actual regular one which is surprising because i really liked that one a lot and i usually am not like a huge flavored coffee person but it's so mild it's like you just put like a dash of vanilla in it's really good it's not sweet either I don't use sugar or cream, I'm a black coffee kind of gal, just so you know. Oh, that's delicious. That's delicious. And I've already raved about Javi before. I think they're amazing. I think it's a great way to get iced coffee at home, save money. Um, you can get about, two, I guess, six weeks of use out of that concentrate if you use it every day. Cheers, and I, it's so great, so check them out. I'll leave a link below. Okay, we're back upstairs and I'm gonna put some product in my hair and then I'm gonna blow dry it. So I'm not gonna bore you with that because I did just do a get ready with me um, doing like, you know, hair makeup stuff. So um, I'm just gonna put some product in. I'm gonna switch it up from last time, I think. Scrunch some of that moisture out. Let's use this one. Kristen S. one I don't I'm not a fan of this is the brand um, not your mother's and um, Sierra Schultz talks about this um, she uses the shampoo and conditioner mm, this is the curl defining combing cream it says intense softness plus frizz free curl retention I think it smells bad that's why I don't like it it's a nice like thick kind of cream and it helps like with the curls for sure like I like it's um I like what it does, but the smell, oh Jesus, it's like super sugary. It's like a smarty on like drugs. It's like like an extra sugar, it's just sugar and I don't like it. It's just too much. Today we're gonna do something different. I got this recently. It's the Mark Anthony um, Strictly Curls Curl Envy Cream Controls for his softens and defines coarse curls. Um, this was like rated really well. It was like the best one from the brand. And I like Mark Anthony, like shampoo and conditioner, and I have their heat protectant spray, I think, or like a, like a spray leaving conditioner. Um, I like this, but I don't like the smell again. It smells like lemon. It's like a lemon, I don't know, not great. So, just a little bit more scrunching. Gotta get that moisture in those curls. Now, I like the smell of lemon when it's like in a dessert, but not in my hair. So... It's a strong smell. Most of these fade, like, once you blow it dry, but just, like, this process is, like, ugh. And so the reason I told you guys I was going to get dressed, I'm wearing, like, pajamas because um, today's video is a try-on haul. So I figured why well, put on actual clothes if I'm just going to be trying on other clothes. So let me take a nice sip of this delicious coffee. I'm going to blow dry my hair, and then we will be back. Oh, and let me just show you this random. My sister got me this for my birthday. It's a little phone holder. How cute, and you can like adjust the arms. <laughs> How cute. Okay, anyways, let's blow dry the hair and we'll see you in a little bit. So I finished filming my video and uh, now I get to finish my iced coffee. And that's it. I know this video wasn't all that interesting, I guess, but um, it's just kind of like what I do to get ready for a video. I didn't do any makeup today. I don't normally anymore because um, my skin's not looking too terrible, but yeah. So that's it for this kind of video morning routine. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so check out Javi below if you like iced coffee and you don't want to pay like $4 per one on like Starbucks. Um, totally, totally recommend. And I'll see you guys next time. 
Bye.